Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here uh, about uh, the LG G3, uh, which is going to be like LG's next like flagship device probably. Uh, so I haven't really talked about it that much. I haven't been, uh, I, I haven't like checked them out that much. Uh, LG and their stuff. I didn't pick up the LG G2. Uh, it was the a device that, uh, that like the Nexus 5 was like based on. But uh, LG, they produced some bad things in the past, and hopefully they can just do better and better things. Just like Sony is doing this here with the Xperia Z2, which is really like the best uh, Sony device ever, and I'm pretty surprised how good it it it, it, it feels compared to the Z1. Uh, so the new LG G3 here it seems like we have some leaked pictures here from Evleaks on both the black and the white variant. Of course the uh, cool things here uh, with these pictures is that you can see um, that it's, uh, you know, it continues to have these uh, layout on the back with volume up and down keys and then like a button in the middle. I haven't tested this out but it looks pretty badass. Uh, we also got some other pictures here uh, that got leaked uh, which seems to be the real deal. Uh, and you can kind of see it, it seems to be rearranging the back here. Uh, compared to the LG G2, how that one uh, did look. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Uh, it, it's going to be on May the 27th. The LG is going to hold an event, and LG is expecting. They're saying that they want to sell like 10 millions, 10 million of these in in the beginning, and uh, that sounds pretty insane for me personally when I hear it. But maybe they maybe they sell <laughs> a lot of devices. Maybe they did sell a lot of uh, G2s. Uh, so May the 27th, they're gonna have an event in, in different parts of the world uh, and specs right now is um, stating around the 2.5 GHz quad core, 3 GB RAM, 30 MP camera, same as last year, and 4.4 KitKat, 1632 GB variants. Uh, this could be one of the cool things though, a 5.5 inch display, so it, it would be bigger than the S5, 5.1 inch, or the HTC One M8, which I think is 5 inch. Uh, or the Sony Xperia Z2, which is uh, five and two inch, it would be like the biggest flagship devices of of them all. Uh, bigger uh, smartphone manufacturing guys. Um, so um, uh, yeah, we will see basically uh, what is going to happen. And I mean, at the end of May, uh, we're also going to see some, see some other exciting stuff. Like I think the day after, Samsung is going to have a health event. And then, like a week after that, uh, Apple is going to hold their WWDC event in in June, and maybe talk about iOS 8 and the, their new version of Mac um, operating system. So um, that is definitely pretty pretty exciting. So I know these pictures aren't the best, um, uh, but uh, it kind of looks almost like it has a casing also on top of it. On the back, it, it probably has that. Uh, but I probably will pick up this device and, and have a look at it. So um, yeah, it's quickly a video here. Hopefully you did enjoy. So um, peace out.